Hi everyone, it's Justin and Scott from, from Australia and we're here today on a, another Two Dads review and we're looking at the all new 2016 Ford Mustang GT V8. Now Scott, what do you think of this car? Oh, I'm very excited, how often do you get to review a 5 litre V8? Yep. Um, not many of those around these days so it's a very, very exciting true. morning I very think true. to have a, have a drive of this car. Yeah. But we're here today to actually to see how it is as a fun, family-friendly car too, aren't we? Absolutely. So I've been having this debate with three people I know that um, are families. They've got many kids, yep. um, and they've purchased these. They waited their six, eight months in the queue. They've had them for about a month or two. So um, I'm very interested to see our review and also get some feedback from them over the next few months to see how it fits in a family environment. Yeah, no, that's good. Now the Ford Mustang GT, it's come to Australia after a, a bit of a, a long hiatus. It, came in the 60s when Ford brought it in, but it's coming because of the demise of our local Falcons and Commodores. They're not yep. going to be produced anymore. Now, a Falcon and Commodore, I think, um, are very, very good family cars, mm. but will this actually match up to how good our local product is? That's yeah. going to be an interesting question, I think. Yep. From first look, it seems a bit different, doesn't yeah, it? So okay. it'll be, All right. yeah, You've it'll got be me on styling. Styling yeah, is yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but I love the outside of it. Yeah. <laughs> you won't lose this one in the car park. No. But it'd be interesting to see if it's uh, a, a good to drive car too. Yeah, if it's absolutely. Fun to drive. Yep, yep, yep. And I think we're right in saying they've sold a lot in the US. Yeah. Um, and it's one of the reasons there's been a long wait over here because they can't produce enough worldwide. Yeah, I think it's uh, it can be up to about 12 months if you want one. Yeah, now, so. that's right. Yeah. And um, and I was in recently in Hawaii about three months ago, and it seemed like every second car over there was one of these. Yep. So I've seen many on the road. Now I'm looking forward to getting behind the wheel, having yeah. a drive. Okay, yeah, let's go for a drive. Sounds good. It's got a nice nose, hasn't it? It starts really nice, yeah. yeah. No, I'm <laughs> mega impressed with the second one. First, that first hit. Goodness. Old handbrake. Yep. Electronic handbrake. Got a reversing camera. It's a, big, it's a big screen too. Yeah, it's a touch screen actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's got all your functionality from being able to from your phone. Yeah, a lot of it's not touch, right? In a lot of cars, yeah, is it? So that's um, that's a big step forward. Heated seats as such. Heated seats. Um, it's got navigation as well. But the interesting thing about the car, I suppose, mate, is that for like mid sixties. This is it. It comes equipped with yeah. all this stuff in it, yep. and the styling of the dash and everything is is, is quite retro, but a little bit modern as well yes. with the yep. touch screen and everything like that. So I think I think value for money, it's definitely up there. Like for for mid sixties, and you've got all of this in the car. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think so. yeah. In initial impressions are definitely the the electronic kit is all very impressive for that sort of price of car. Yep. But I mean the whole car just screams. Cool, isn't it? That's what it's about. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's about the look of the car. Yep, yep, it works. So when I look at the dash front on, I think it looks really good with all the retro styling. I think just some of the side bits just look maybe just some you know, a little bit plasticky. That's the only shame, right? I think they've just skimped a little bit on the side, but what you see right in front of you is very impressive. But then again, like, you can't forget, it's only 65 grand too. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's yep. not that expensive, so. Yep, well, anyway. let's go forward. Mustang comes with a 5 litre V8, Coyote V8 uh, from the States. It comes with about 306 kilowatts yep. and 530 newton metres of torque. Now, the car weighs a little under 1700 kilos, so she's a big thing. Feels like it. <laughs> you can feel it? Yeah, yeah. Not, not in a negative way, but you certainly feel it's a big, strong, heavy car. Yeah. Get that through the steering wheel. The look you get is just bonnet, isn't it? <laughs> yes. It's just bonnet. <laughs> yep. They've certainly kept it raised so that you, you get that feel yeah. Yeah, of a big V8 Ford. Firstly, I think the exhaust is a little bit underdone. It could be a little bit louder. Uh, 
but I, I absolutely think it should be louder. Yep. In here, it's quite quite a quiet car to drive, which is quite nice. So the soundproofing's really good. But you buy this car to be able to hear that that yeah. V eight working, right? Yeah, um, exactly. And uh, I'm not hearing it enough. So this one's got the six speed auto transmission. Um, comes with uh, sport mode as well, which is the S there. So if you want to stick it in the sport and feel what it's like, help yep. yourself. <laughs> yep. Just uh, getting used to using these uh, little paddles as well on the yeah. side. It's got paddles on there. They're not big paddles like on a European car, are they? No, they're, they're very tiny small. Very yeah. well. I, I have to say though, mate, like I've, I've had this car for the last couple of days, and for something with over 300 kilowatts of power, I think it feels a little bit underdone, personally. I was expecting it to be a bit more of a head snapping sort of yep. car. It's not that. No. It doesn't feel it, no. Yep. no. I think, to me, it's not a sports car in the mold of, of a, you know, like a high performance sort of, you know, 911 type car, is it? It's, yep. it's more of a cruiser. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's got a GT badge on the back. I think that's its element. It's, it's a Grand Tourer. It's not really a uh, out now. I'm just thinking I was born and grew up in Broken Hill. I did that do that long trip out to Broken Hill quite regularly. Yep. I would love to drive this car yeah. out in the country on the open road where you can really let it go and yeah. it'll just perform so beautifully. Yeah. Um, that would be really nice. There. Yeah, it was. I was in first gear. I was overriding the car. But, uh, <laughs> but then again, look, we're looking at family fun cars. And for somebody who's looking for a fun car that's a little bit practical, I think it's, it's yeah, it's going to be up there. That's why it's so popular, as I said, yeah. isn't it? There's a big yeah. waiting list for the yeah. car. Um, I did notice something, though. I'm not a tall guy. Um, I'm about five, three, five, four. Even I, when I was sitting in the back, my head was was crick. So when you're sitting in the back, we'll, we'll give it a go. It's... Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's going to work too well. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh, a little bit of leg room. Probably not much on the driver's side if you've got a reasonably tall driver. Probably none at all, really. But absolutely no headroom. Uh, with the fast back, I can't, uh, I must be about five inches short of putting my head up correctly. Wow, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get out now. <laughs> Let's watch. <laughs> That's my test for a car. Yeah. I'm actually smiling a lot, right? Yeah. So I'm giving it a hard time, criticizing it for a few pieces, but um, at the same time, I'm really enjoying driving something that you know, is so different to what it's, we've reviewed right. any any other car. All right, Scott, you've had a drive of the Mustang. What do you thought? Certainly have. Um, yeah, some good and bad. Um, I really enjoyed driving it this time. It's not a car though. I don't think I would miss next weekend. I think. Um, you know, it's quite large around the city, um, to drive around the city. Um, but, you know, the positives, um, 60 odd thousand dollars. Um, it's a big donk. It's an amazing amount of technology inside the car. Looks great. Um, and, and the external styling is just fantastic, right? So those three things alone is probably enough to buy this car. Yeah. But then you do deal with the fact that inside there's not a lot of space, certainly in the back there's no space. Um, it's a fairly small boot. 
and just the general ride and handling around the city day to day yeah it's for me it's not a great city car um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree with you mate it's 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 a lovely car i reckon have a bit of fun with yep but you know what bringing it home and getting the Ministry of Finance to agree that it's a nice practical car that uh, we can put the kids in the back and everything. It's a hard sell. It might be a hard sell. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But, you know, all kudos to Ford and bringing out a car that, you know, is something different in the market. Yeah, I, and I agree. for people who want this, yep. don't hesitate to buy it. But, um, yeah, I don't think it's for everyone. I yeah. Think, yeah. No, good, good on Ford for doing that because, you know, the, these are fun cars and, and you've got to have some fun in your life. Mm. And, you know, if you don't have cars like this around, life would be very boring too, wouldn't it? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, uh, I agree. But. Okay. Well, thanks guys for watching. Um, this has been another Two Dads review. And uh, if you're enjoying our videos, please uh, give us some uh, likes and uh, subscribe and uh, share our videos. And uh, we look forward to uh, having a chat to you next time with some more interesting cars. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.